I bought this HTH six-way test kit because I wanted to be able to test for chlorine, pH, like most test kits, and also CYA. So that was the big thing for me. And then you can also test your alkalinity levels and total hardness. I just wanted to show you everything that came in this kit and how to use some of it for some of the basic functionality. So one of the main things that come in this kit is the viewing glass. And I love this style of viewing glass. I've bought a bunch of different test kits and honestly, this is the nicest viewing glass out of all of them. I love this little rubber topper. It's super easy to get on and off. I know that's kind of silly, but that's something I definitely like about this. And then I know with these guys' bottles, they are easy to get your drops out. So the way it works is you're going to put five drops of the yellow solution in the left side for chlorine, and then five drops of your red solution in the right side to test your pH, and that's most of what I test. You also have a reagent for testing your CYA, which is your stabilizer levels, and that was something I bought this test kit for because I wanted to test my CYA levels. And the way that works is you're gonna fill to the seven here with pool water, and then you're gonna use the reagent to fill to the 14 mark, and then you're gonna mix this up and you're gonna slowly fill this vial until this black dot right here disappears. And then after that, you can read the numbers on the side of it and that'll tell you what your CYA level is, which is super handy because when your stabilizer level gets too high, it doesn't matter how high your chlorine level is, the chlorine is not gonna be able to work because the stabilizer is gonna lock your chlorine up and it won't work. And that's why I think this test kit is absolutely important because it allows you to test for CYA and kinda of get a more total health of your pool. So the first thing you're gonna to do to use this kit is pop the top off and then you're gonna fill it with water up to these little lines right here. And what I do is I fill it all the way up with water and then I just stick my finger in there and then that pushes it down to those lines on each side. Then you wanna take the red solution and you're gonna wanna do one, two, three, four, five drops on the right side and that'll get us looking like this. And then on the left side, we're gonna do one, two, a three, a four, F five. And I love these bottles. I think I said it earlier, but these are so easy to get single drops out of. I did another test kit earlier and the drops are so hard to get out. It was coming out as a stream and I had to be super careful. These are really nice. They're meant to make drops come out. I have no idea how it works, but I love these. Next, we're gonna need the top and we just put the top back on, which is super easy to put on and we shake. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that my pool's kinda out of whack right now. I had a lot of algae issues and I've been running the pump a lot and I have my chlorine level super high. So it's orange because it's in like the 10 part per million for chlorine and this chart only goes up to a five. Otherwise it would be a yellow and you could kinda cross reference, oh this is at two or this is at three. And you wanna keep it between one and three, kind of in the middle of this. That's the good chlorine level for like stabilizing your pool but I had to put a lot of shock in my pool to get rid of some algae, so it's orange and kind of off the charts. And then on the other side, you can see that this is around a 7.2-ish as far as the pH goes, so definitely fine. You want to keep the range for pH between 7.2 and 7.8, and with this being a 7.2, I'm right at the bottom of the range, and I know as I add chlorine, the pH will go up, so this isn't going to be an issue for me. So the last thing that I personally check would be my CYA level or my stabilizer level to see how effective my chlorine currently is. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these back in the kit and stick my little viewing glass right back in the middle. So next we're going to take this guy and we're going to screw the top off. Pour a little bit of water out. Uh, uh, not quite. And that gets us right at the seven. So now that we're at the seven, we add the CYA reagent until we get to 14. And screw that bad boy back on. Then we take this and it said to shake it for 30 seconds. So we shake this a lot and mix it up. I'll say while I'm shaking this, that this kit does come with instructions and it tells you the ranges that you should have so all of your numbers are right here. If you aren't sure about something, you can just check these instructions. I dropped mine in the pool and now they're wet, but these are very nice to have. Now that we've mixed our pool water with the reagent and we're gonna just pour that into this little test tube. 
And as you fill this tube, you want to look because there's a little black dot at the bottom. I doubt I'll be able to show this on camera, but once you can't see the little black dot anymore, that means that number is how high your stabilizer level is. So for me, if I'm at about 80, that's where I can no longer see the black dot at the bottom. And that means my stabilizer level is at 80. And 80 is on the high side. And the only thing I can really do about that is drain the pool and add more water to the pool. But yeah, if you were on the low end of this, if you got down to say 30 and nothing you were doing would hide the black dot, then that means that your stabilizer level is low and you would want to add stabilizer to your pool. I just wanted to show you guys how to test the chlorine, how to test the pH, and how to test the stabilizer with this test kit. I really like this test kit, and I think it's great. It comes with everything you need, and the test kit is really nice. It's really well built, and the whole thing is just really good. So if you're looking for a complete test kit for your pool, then this HCH test kit is the way to go.